It is Phil Jupiter sitting in for Keith Finnegan uh, between 11 and 12 every day this week on Galway Bay FM. The sound of exciting young Galway. And uh, joining me now in the studio here to discuss um, this damp leaflet I have in front of me here, which is, I mean, it's absolutely sodden. Uh, it, 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 no, this is just water, Kevin. Uh, the, the, the Galway, the Vodafone Comedy Carnival, Galway, Mr. Kevin Healy, uh, proprietor of said fest. What, you, what is your official job title, Kevin? Uh, comedy monster. <laughs> I, I would go with that. A comedy monster, I think, is is, is is a suitable appellation. How many years has it been? Uh, this is this is the ninth year. Nine years of yeah. it. When you very first did it, how 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 big was the first festival? How how long how long was it? It was. Uh, Three three nights. It was a uh, nineteen hundred people or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it it's just it's, it's just growing, growing and growing, and growing and growing and growing, growing. and we're going to have to stop soon. When he, have you decided when? when uh, yeah, when we're bigger than Edinburgh. <laughs> and is is that the dream <laughs> that you could be bigger than the world's biggest arts festival? I reckon so. Because this the, the thing is is with this lovely town and you know me and Galway, special. You got your horses, you got your oysters. What's with the comedy? Adding, adding that it's a festival-heavy town. Oyst people come for the shellfish and the nags. Why? What is it? Why? Where does your festival sit amongst those ones? Well, uh, there's a festival here every weekend. Is that your defence? That's my defence. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to put festivals on. That's what we do. It's, 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 <laughs> Otherwise, we have to stay at home. It is a growth industry, <laughs> and we all know how people in Galway feel about staying in of an evening. <laughs> uh, it's 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 something I've never. I know lots of uh, festivals. I've taken part in loads. I've been to Edinburgh. I've been to um, over to Montreal and done uh, Just for Laughs in Montreal, and been down to uh, uh, Melbourne and done their festival there. Um, but you get the feeling with the with other festivals is is that they are a machine that sort of has a running order already. Whereas with with your festival, Kevin, it does feel like you. It's it's like it's like you with a kind of big train set made of clowns. We are we're kind of making it up as we go along. Yeah, it's but I feel your personal involvement it it, it kind of runs through the thing. You 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 love these people that you've booked. Every single I see one, you at yeah. Edinburgh every year and you're, you're, you've got your tick list. It's like, oh, I'll take them to Galway, I'll take them to Galway. Yeah, running around Edinburgh giddy, looking yeah. for looking for comedians. Yeah, yeah, you, um, which which is what you're doing. And yeah. so so is it is it fun to put this together or is oh, it becoming yeah. something of a trial? No, it's great fun. Trial. It's great fun. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun. Mm, I suppose uh, one, one assumes not. No. Yeah. Is, um, so there's... These these acts. I mean, it's weird. I know we got we got Tin and uh, Tommy Tin are coming in later. Who uh, you know again a, another local boy who uh, I believe you started him on his. Can, we can we can confirm this with him later. Did you start him on the road to? Well, he he he, he did his first open spot in the GPO back in the early nineties. Yeah. Um, I believe he took my open spot. In fact, I was supposed to do it, but I didn't bother. I chickened out. Yeah. <laughs> and he did it. Can you imagine what it would be like in an alternate universe where I'm sitting here talking to Tommy Tan and I'm waiting for the great Kevin Healy to come in? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Healy. Uh, and and bear in mind that Tommy Tan has just done a TV series in Ireland where he makes it up as he goes along. Your entire life has been one great <laughs> improvised comedy show, basically. Aren't we all? Aren't we all making it up? <laughs> Um, any particular um, um, highlights? When you, when you, is there a is there one name this there that when you kind of they they sort of signed on the dotted line? You were like yes, Red Bastard. Yeah, I saw him in Edinburgh, and I just had to I just had to have him. Yeah, it's yeah. just a fantastic show. Uh, it, it like it's he's a comedy monster. Yeah, uh, he just is seductive devil, and uh, like at, uh, everyone was afraid of him for the first twenty minutes or half an hour. Yeah, and at the end of the show, he just changed people's lives. You know, some guy rang a girl, told her he loved her. Another guy rang uh, his boss and uh, quit his job as the manager of Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> right really, there at the end of the show. That is that's that's. That, and that's then he got his willy out. And well, I understand <laughs> that there is some. I believe some we nudity. call it. Adult content, indeed, in in uh, in the Red Bees show. So, um, oh wow. So, um, that's that's one thing. Um, any, I mean, a lot of very familiar names. Um, Reg D Hunter's very much a part of the furniture of the Russian yeah, Dove, yeah, isn't yeah. he? Oh, yeah. Galway. Almost like you. He comes all the time. You know, he loves it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of, I mean, many, many, many of us do. And it's like there's a there's. I like that closest people. And of course, the uh, uh, the shows that you've got uh, Thursday, Friday, uh, um, and I'm looking at. No, it's, it was it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the Improv. Lab. 
Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Monday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, they come for the last three days. Yeah, quite right too. Because I can't send them home. They're of an age. The those performers. I like it when you support the senior acts. <laughs> <laughs> It's when it's when it's when the the Galway the comedy festival turns into something of a rest home in the last weekend. <laughs> there's there's old men yeah. wandering around going, "Where's my tea?" That's it. That, you see, you, you wouldn't be able to send them home when there was still something on. You know, they won't I go. They, they won't, won't go leave. till everybody else leaves. They too. won't leave. They are the, the unwanted guests. Hey, uh, we shall continue chatting with Mr. Kevin Healy. Uh, Tommy Tennant still has come on the show. Galway Bay FM broadcasting to you in the lush greenness of this beautiful island. This is Buzz Cox. It is Phil Jupiter uh, sitting in for Keith Finnegan here on Galway Bay FM uh, and uh, I shall be doing so every day this week, Monday to Friday between 11 and noon uh, and uh, we'll be chatting with people who are appearing at uh, the Vodafone Comedy Fest, Comedy Carnival I, I keep saying festival, it's a comedy carnival isn't it? You've, it got, a, you've got a Spiegel tent. That makes me a carnival director then. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sounds like a nice title. Uh, which which is, is, was it kind of always a, a deliberate thing, uh, Mr Healy, to position the uh, uh, um, your event near Mockness because it, it kind of it's this Mockness is Sunday coming isn't it yeah I uh, know that's new that's they, they moved on to the uh, the Halloween weekend two years ago yeah um, but we were never positioned there used there used to be a summertime thing yeah 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 it's, a, it's a, I mean I saw it last year for the first time it's quite an extraordinary it certainly is yeah I'm looking forward to it yeah, which is weird. I don't know why you don't just because we, uh, you know, we've talked about some of the older acts. If you just just strip them to the waist and made them walk as part of the Mockness Parade, it's not a zombie parade. They look, <laughs> they, but that's what they look like. It's obscene. Um, so th there's, yes. uh, um, you've got a, a sort of lovely mix. But when when you're putting um, uh, the the festival together, it's is it uh, sort of in your mind because you've got some really brilliant. I mean, very very established acts this year. I'm thinking particularly of uh, people like Arthur Smith sings Leonard Cohen. Uh, you've got this year, which is one of, and I'm not joking there, one of the best shows I I ever saw in terms of it's not just a comedy show it's actually a beautiful show uh, where Arthur talks about his mum yeah. uh, uh, through it and that uh, that's that's happening at the Town Hall Town Theatre, Hall Theatre yeah, on Thursday. Thursday right after David Baddiel another I mean David Baddiel a, a fixture of uh, the UK comedy scene for three decades yeah, you know fantastic. Uh, the first man him and Rob the first guys to to break the, the arena bar and yeah, do an arena they Wembley, did Wembley they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they'd be the first act to do that yeah. was Sean Locke open for them really yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. And and he, he's in the town hall on Thursday as well. Oh, um, no, David David Baddiel, <laughs> David Baddiel, yeah. yes, is uh, yeah, he's there uh, just for Arthur Smith at seven. Arthur Smith sings Leonard Cohen at nine thirty. Yeah. Uh, is it section. important to to do that to? To have so, variety in there. Well, to, to get to those, to get those, uh, the, uh, the, yeah, to, to have the new sort of up against the much more established. Yeah, ex exactly. You have to get a, get everything across the board from from the guys who've been doing it for years to the to the like tonight. There's a competition in the Roisin, uh, sixteen guys, brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Trying out. One of them is going to win a spot on uh, a bill at the weekend. Oh, that'd be that's a, a, a fine, fine so prize. If you go from that to uh, the dinosaurs that are frosty and the boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, 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 it spans, it spans uh, sort of the generations. You, you've also also got uh, the play Singlehood at the, again at the Town Hall Theatre. That's right, yeah. Um, it's a, it's sold out three nights in the Olympia just recently. Um, it's uh, PJ Gallagher's uh, featuring in it this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's fantastic. All oh, right. So the that theater, music, improv, stand up. Well, the music, and and again, the music you mentioned. I mean, the horn section, the horn which section again, one of the too. most extraordinary uh, sort of live shows I ever saw. That are very sort of extemporaneous. You know, it's if if you love music and comedy. It's not, you know, I, I mean, I've got my mates, you know, Bill Bailey's a friend of mine, Rich Hall is doing the hoe down here at the, the, the carnival as well, but the horn section is something quite extraordinary in that... that, that the d dynamic that Alex Horn has with the band yeah. is really good. When they hosted Buzzcocks, one of the great nights in a studio, having an orchestra host a quiz. <laughs> right there, that's some lateral yeah, thinking. It certainly is. If only Glenn Miller was still around, he might be doing What's My Line. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it's, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's an amazing sort of uh, spread of stuff. Where can people get information on what is on at the carnival this coming week, Kevin Healy? Well, we have a website, vodafonecomedycarnival.com. Yep. We have a festival 
uh, information point in a kiosk in our square. Uh, it's the tourist information office in the top of our square. Our box office is OMG, Chivago, uh, and there's a phone number. Ah. Uh, oh, 087, Vodafone, 087, uh, 1800. There you go. All the information is there for you to find out about what's happening. Lots of tickets still available. For Indeed, for yeah, for, for all of these marvellous events. Uh, and uh, and uh, we, as I said, we are going to be joined by Mr. Tommy Tiernan in the last half hour of uh, of this show. And uh, also uh, towards the end of this show, I'll be explaining who's uh, joining us tomorrow. Tomorrow we've got a barn burner. Here we go. Yeah, hey. Desmond Decker there, cover version of his own single. Uh, that was the uh, 79 or 80, I'll have to check it out, version of The Israelites, which is available on the uh, Stiff Records box set. Uh, it's me banging on about music. We're supposed to be here talking about uh, comedy. And uh, who better to discuss comedy with than my next guest here on the show this morning, Mr. Tommy Tin. How are you doing, son? You're I'm doing right. mighty now. Pleasure to meet you, Phil. It's good to see you there, Tommy. We did a gig a thousand years ago. No, some place did. like Maidstone or Milton would, Keynes. Yeah, one of these, these, these strange. Uh, what for you though? Going over to to the to the UK and then playing those odd little towns. Still am, still am playing. I was in Pocklington last week. <laughs> hey, po Pocklington, the, 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 the finest Yorkshire has to offer. Life, Leamington Spa. Yeah, I'm still on that circuit. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, I always always felt that that relation was reciprocal because I, 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 when I came over here. Where's that castle somewhere you sent us once? There was somewhere in the middle of nowhere Kevin Healy sent us once, which was... I can't remember. It's some big hotel in the middle of nowhere. And it's like an enormous venue that's that's right in the middle of my near knock. Oh, the Traveller's Friend in Castle Bar, <laughs> oh, probably. Castle yeah, Bar. Exactly was, castle yeah. Bar. Yeah. There we go, there we go. Of all the towns not to have a castle. <laughs> <laughs> he said a castle. <laughs> is it not got, is it in, it, I know it's got a bar, because I was in it, but there's, it's, that's not a castle. No, it's a hotel. It's a hotel, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Trace a Celtic description. Tiger hotel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you've got to love the architecture. So, um, this... Um, what's it... I mean, it's very... Having a, 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 a festival in your hometown like this... Yeah. For uh, I can't think of anything worse than doing a festival in South End if they said, you know, just there's something about there's an old Cockney aphorism about never crapping on your own doorstep, and th and that's what this would fall under. Yeah. You, but you seem very comfortable gigging at home. I, well, I'm uh, amazed at the how uh, solid the festival has become actually, uh, where it kind of went from. Uh, just two or three comics or five or six comics to something that seems to be incredibly established. And as you were saying when you were talking to Kevin earlier on, the lineup is incredible. To get people like Arthur and David and yourself, and it's a phenomenal lineup. So uh, I'm, it doesn't feel like I'm uh, performing in my hometown. It just it feels like I'm just at a festival. So it's great. Is, is, is this? I bet it's it's because <coughs> I remember when I first when I first came to Galway again. I did, the first place I played in Galway. I'm pretty sure it was the GPO when I very first came. Oh out my God, the GPO! Yeah. Oh sweet did Jesus! You ever play there, Tommy? Oh, did, did you? I watch? <laughs> and then there was that. There was Days a very Sodom and tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> there was a very strange uh, little guest house they used to put the uh, uh, the the British stand ups in that was. You, you weren't allowed to do anything. There was a just quite prepossessing gentleman who was sort of the receptionist. He went, you know, uh, there was no. There's the Imperial Hotel. Imperial Hotel, the Imperial yeah. Hotel yeah. No. <laughs> He'd say something, no women. Something yeah. like that. It was very odd, you know. And I That's thought what, that was the Imperial Hotel is where the English comedians and uh, people from the Aran Islands would stay. <laughs> so you had that kind of... <laughs> it's a collision. But, it's great. But the changes, I mean, have been perceptible, even to me, as someone that's just sort of visited then, the, the changes in Galway was so sort of apparent. Uh, uh, across the sort of two decades, it was, a, it was a big long gap before I came back again. As, as, as someone that sort of grew up in the town, is it is it odd to see somewhere that has, th this growth has happened? You know, you're on the the western edge of Europe, and it's this this focus, this cultural focus now. Galway is uh, a hip and happening city. Yeah, I didn't really grow up in Galway. I moved here like a lot of people um, when I was about twenty, and, yeah. and haven't left. Um, I I was talking about it in the improvised show uh, on Thursday night. There are parts of Galway that are boom-proof. So so <laughs> <laughs> no matter how successful the economy comes, there's still a kind of a shabby, dirty, rock and roll, traditional feeling. And I think that the uh, that, Dove, that, that part of town always feels like old Galway. Yeah. yeah, yeah they always yeah. feel... Whereas, you know, changes might happen to Shop Street, 
boots might arrive or, you know, uh, big chain stores like that. But uh, there's a part of the town which is just... Uh, uh, there's a kind of a great old shabbiness to it. And who won't uh, fix up the footpaths? Is what? Who won't fi- <laughs> even fix up the paths? No, or, or even put shops in most of the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because it's not called Shop you, Street. What would you want shops for? <laughs> Just the pubs is what you want to put in those buildings. So. <laughs> so I'd have to change the name to Different Shops Street. <laughs> no Shop Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Um, so uh, the uh, and th- now I want what I want to discuss with you, sir, is this this show that you, as you mentioned it just now in passing there. This improvised show, I can't think of anything more insane for a solo performer than to go on stage, particularly in Scandinavia, completely and utterly un. With no, with no map in your head, no map and no audience suggestions and no games and no notions. Yeah. Uh, just talking and to see and, and to see where the words lead you. you I know? would imagine that that is actually quite difficult to not even have a starting point. Yeah. How, do you, is it like you walk out? Is it that sort? Of, you have to be that sort of tabula rasa, that completely blank slate. And yeah. Then, how do you how would you start? Do you, just you just put your face <laughs> up to the microphone and you start talking. Yeah, and that's that's what happens. Um, it's thrilling and it's uh, incredibly creative. Um, I saw you uh, at the festival. If it wasn't the year, the year, the first year of set list. I saw you do your first set oh, list, yeah, yeah. and there was a look in your eyes then of what is this? Yeah, and that always that I always think the newness of something for a stand up is more powerful than control. There's, I think yeah. that's part of the buzz. Is that for you? Absolutely, and I think for the audience as well. You might if you when you improvise a show that's not as funny as uh, kind of a rehearsed pre-performed stand-up routine even though they're not laughing as much there's something extra in the room there's a feeling of aliveness there's a feeling of um the kind of the uniqueness of the event uh that the audience get i think a bigger thrill out of than they do when they're going to see something very when you're going to something very polished it's great and it is funny and you are laughing but there's an extra dimension to it when it's uh panicked and fresh it was always my know. my my belief that the bits you uh take away from a show are you, you know they, they, you remember the routines but is that do you remember when that the bloke had the sn- sneezing fit in the third yeah, row of course, yeah, and yeah. then he did 10 minutes on that and yeah, he just yeah. talked about this bloke and the yeah. and, and and those those individual but to construct an entire show of that kind of ephemeral instant yeah or to deconstruct an entire show yeah. that's what you're doing you're kind but, of you're not uh, you're beyond technique. But you, you but know. this is it. Is, is there not a bigger part of your brain struggling for control? It, you, it strikes me that you'd be fighting against yourself as a performer. You are. It's a difficult thing to do, you know. And um, I was I did it up in Monaghan one night and I got talking to a great man afterwards. And he's at that stage now I hadn't quite figured out how to cope with the silences. <laughs> so I just yeah. uh, experienced them and I, I would say nothing and wait till an idea popped into my head. And he said to me... Um, you know what you're doing is very brave now, but um, you'd be as well off having an idea or two in your pocket for when it goes quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's, uh, I love it now, I, but it is the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I, I'm, I'm extraordinarily uh, uh, impressed by it. It's, it, it, uh, it's just such a ballsy thing to do. It's amazing. Hey, uh, um, out on tour, uh, out of the whirlwind, is this, is this basically, if you now manage to turn this show made of nothing into a show made of something? No, there's two things going on. I'm, ah. I'm trying to come up with a new stand-up show. Right. And I'm also doing the improvised work. Are so. we ki- So is, now, is, is show B feeding show A? Uh, yeah, I think so. I hope so. Uh, not really. I don't know. It's funny, st- and you have great experience with this. Something that you that f- you create in the moment, and you might waffle on for ten or fifteen minutes, and you've created all these ideas, and everyone is falling around the place laughing, and you're laughing. And the following night, you say, "I must do that again because it was great last night." And it doesn't work. And it's it, there's something. There's not the same life in it. It yeah. hasn't got the same anima. At the, I had no. I did an improvised tour last year, and that happened every night. I do one thing, and I go, oh, "I'm going to do that about the, you know, the, the, and, it, and you start <laughs> into it, and you go, and, and it's because you're thinking about it in a linear. Yeah. Then what did I do? Way it it's explodes gone. in yeah, front. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. extraordinary, extraordinary. Hey, we're going to continue talking with Mr. Tommy Tiernan and Kevin Healy, my guests here in the studio on Galway Bay FM. After these messages and music. 
Ella Fitzgerald uh, and uh, Get Ready uh, here on uh, Galway Bay FM. Uh, Phil Jupiter sitting in for Keith Finnegan between 11 and 12 every day uh, this week as part of the Vodafone comedy Carnival Galway. Uh, the We still haven't come up with a title for you. Wizard of that <laughs> festival. Wizard. Oh, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't have a beard. The rabbi. Rabbi. That'll do. Rabbi Healy. <laughs> rabbi Healy. Lozim <laughs> Gale. So uh, is with us and uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Tommy Tiernan as well. So you're um, you're playing on. <laughs> Festival Schmestival. <laughs> we are um, we, we're doing a gig together, aren't we, Tom? We're, we're playing... For the second time. <laughs> Wednes- yeah, it's our second gig together. Exciting. Yeah. Uh, at, at the Spiegel tent, assuming it's still there. Assuming Gonzalez doesn't get a chess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, in case you're unaware, a very angry Mexican mouse has arrived in Galway. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a hurricane. A hurric- hurricane Gonzalez, apparently. Which, the Spiegel uh, tent will be fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah. If you get some of the chunkier acts, I'm naming no names here, <laughs> but I'm free tonight. If you want me to go and sit in your Spiegel tent for you, uh, is it that, what was the, where did that idea come from? To, to kind of you needed a new venue. We needed a venue, yeah. yeah. We, we needed a, we needed to uh, bring something special, you know. And I saw it in uh, in Edinburgh, and I just fell in love with it. Did you go in there and have a little wander around. I did, like as a as a as a publican, you know. You walk into a, a room like that and you just go, "Oh God, this could be magic," you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and it is. I mean, how did you find playing it over the weekend? Uh, great spot, yeah, brilliant. It, it was slightly lively on Friday and Saturday. Do, uh, do you think? In terms of wind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's brilliant, yeah. There's a lovely feeling in it, actually. Yeah. It's, basi- it's basically a large spinnaker with a PA in it. That's what yeah. it is. That's yeah. a windy venue right there. <laughs> and, and, and not as if you put it anywhere sheltered. Yeah, we were we were thinking we could put it behind a wall somewhere, but no, let's put it on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand there's a lot of sp- clear space up near Moa, perhaps on the Baron next time, Kev. Pop it up there, mate. Be nice. The tourists go there anyway, and I know there's a car park and a tea room facilities um so uh, this uh, th- is there anything tom are you going to go and see any shows my friend are you, while you're uh i would very much like to see there's a few i like is, is david d been and gone no 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 no, 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 no. david is david fantastic Dorothy. when he when's david playing s- uh, uh, there's a point. spoken word thing i'd like to go and see but i can't remember the name of it where people like olaf and oh that's on monday night it's called far from far from comedy we were reared we were reared oh yeah. marvelous mm. um and off the top of my head had uh, John Cooper Clark. It was fantastic last night. Nice. Gone, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone. Clark, it was um, good fun. Uh, yeah, they're the guys I'd I'd lep for. Nice you know. job. I, is it, and and uh, um, the Americans, you got uh, some some uh, some young some fantastic coming over. Classic Americans, yeah. Uh, Todd Barry's coming. Big uh, fan of the yeah. Barry. Love Todd Barry. Judah Freelander. Hey. Judah Freelander's been and gone. Has he been and gone already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Judah was here uh, Thursday and Friday. Oh well, there you go. Uh, Rob Delaney, the Twitter king. Really? Yeah, yeah, he's coming. I put in a shout for my cousin Eleanor Tiernan, who I think is doing a show here. She, she? is indeed, yeah, she's doing three nights. Yeah, cousin El, she does a thing called Healing Ireland, I think, is it? <laughs> the National Therapy Project. That's it, yes. <laughs> How's that working out for her? Great, great, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she's going to fix us one person at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way you can do it. They do not work well as a group. I'm <laughs> given to understand. It's, I've performed uh, 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 on a number of occasions here. And of course, um, uh, th- th- there's, uh, you've got the hoedown happening. The hoedown is happening, yeah, Saturday. I Saturday, quite like Saturday, the Sunday. idea that you've seen Rich Hall do that hoe down in a number of gymnasiums in Edinburgh and you think what he I needs to do this show in is a bar I've still booked it though yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's an extra it, it really is it's, it's the Roshan Doves has a very kind of uh, and a you Tex-Mex might, uh, swing feel uh, and you might go and sing, sing a few songs with I them. think I was thinking yeah I'm trying to get Rob who's uh, uh, who's Richard's uh, musical director for the show to to bone up on a couple of Elvis Costello numbers. That's it, because I haven't got you doing enough different types of jobs this week. Hey, <laughs> you, you were wanting me to put a nappy on and march through Mockness at one point. Yeah, I did want to. I did, I did so try. You phone me up. You phone me up. <laughs> I, I love it when you phone me late at night. I've had an idea, Phil. You look like a giant baby. <laughs> Pop a nappy on and go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that was what we talked about that last year was me working behind the bar at the yeah. Rose <laughs> and doing mockness as That's well. It, yeah. 
and uh, and and maybe uh, I was going to get you to serve a hog roast as well. <laughs> that was, I was. He was going to put me on a spit and rotate me over a. Fu- basically, they were going to eat me at the end of the friends. That was Kev's ma- the best mm. idea, and uh, and of course uh, one of the ideas we're working on for next. Have you, have you, do you start thinking about next year's already? Because you know there's all sorts of marvelous secret things we talk about. You know? Yes. Yeah. But next year we're definitely going to organise clown outriders. Clown outriders for the ambassadors <laughs> for, of comedy. For, for oh my God. God. You get picked up at <laughs> the airport. Wow. For where people when, when people yeah. arrive get in. Picked up the airport big, in a clown normal. car, and yeah. then just come into Galway. Right. Just yeah, just just some clowns on motorbikes. Which, you know, hopefully it won't be raining and they won't fall over. And uh, you know that way when you normally you <laughs> see outriders and a car comes in, there, it's that like, woo woo woo. But it's going to be that, but with. <laughs> <laughs> Just coming around the corner into Shop Street. Can I just give a big shout out to uh, Isabel Rose Tiernan? Ah, yes. Uh, who was seven and uh, didn't go to school today because her mother had a hangover. Oh, nice. Now, that, <laughs> that's right there, that's, that's Karen and Sharon. Yeah. Karen and Sharon, the Galway Bay FM way. That's what we like. Not great. I mean, but the important thing is about that child is she learned something. <laughs> Day after so hello, birthday. Isabel. <laughs> the day after mommy's birthday is a good day. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> we all get to stay home that day. <laughs> uh, for some of us, every day mummy's got a hangover. <laughs> um, hey, uh, so tomorrow on the show uh, we are going to be joined by uh, who's on the show tomorrow? Good Lord, Tom Rhodes, uh, one of the American stand-ups uh, uh, that we uh, that didn't get mentioned earlier, and also Carl Spain, Mr. Carl Spain, Mr. will be uh, uh, joining me. He's helping me um, with my. Uh, we're hosting. Are we co-hosting again? You're co hosting the, the midweek gala on Wednesday night in the Spiegel tent where Tommy is headlining. There's nothing there's nothing that says Spain and dupes, we can't afford proofs. That's that's <laughs> that's the slogan that Kevin Healy always uses when he books us two. Two men for the price of none. Uh, and uh, and also tomorrow yeah John Cooper Clark. We we'll have uh, Clarky in to have a little bit of a chat. And, and it's it's called reverse plugging. We're going to have John <laughs> yeah, review you, his own gig. You missed here. his gig. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, many, many thanks to uh, everyone here, or the whole team at Galway Bay FM, for uh, making me feel so welcome. Uh, Keith Finnegan and Kate as well, and uh, and everyone else. And uh, yeah, we'll be back same time tomorrow at 11 here on the show. Uh, playing us out, though, this is Mott the Hoople. Cheers. See you later.